Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to, of course, some more Mountain Blade to a Bannerlord. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new way to play Bannerlord, and this has been created by the legendary modder Block, who has come up with some of the most craziest ideas Bannerlord has ever seen with his Age of Empires style battle, his naval combat, his starship fighters. Well, today, he's taken his little hand onto the campaign map and trying to improve the sandbox experience. And this is, of course, with the sandbox plus mod and this is pretty interesting because if we click it as you go you can see right here this is a completely new way to go ahead and adjust the campaign map to provide you with a brand new starting environment so basically what sandbox plus does is it allows you to fast forward the game hundreds of years i think up to all the way up to a thousand years to basically simulate the campaign so you don't just jump into the same year and the same borders every single time the mod also allows you to go ahead and adjust border change as well so that the AI will develop and expand their kingdoms. You can stick this all the way up to 100% border aggression and as you guys will see just how much tail worlds have screwed the campaign map like the borders don't change that much i've i've simulated a thousand years and the borders don't change that much which is just absolutely crazy after a thousand years you would think that you know one big empire would reign supreme over calradia is not the case tail worlds really screwed the pooch on that one on top of that though you can also allow new kingdoms so this will basically encourage rebellions and other factions to rise up if there are rebellions and of course you can also allow new family members members which i think is sensible after you know people have children and there'll be new faces all over cal radio which is cool so let's simulate the first 250 years of cal radio and just see exactly how much the map does change so here we are on the campaign map 250 years later from the start of the game and you can see the borders have changed quite a lot after 250 years which is pretty interesting right there are new kingdoms there are different borders uh and you know there's not like everyone is still really in the game so down here in the land, you can see the Badanians somehow are uh, winning the war against the Landians and also the Empire as well, taking these southern settlements away from them. I think as well as that, they've also taken the northern settlements. Maybe this is the way for Batania to actually stay relevant in the game and it's to AI simulate hundreds of years. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess they're doing pretty good. Down here in the south as well, we have a brand new faction that's risen up and it's actually quite powerful as well. That's quite cool. Um, they have what, two, two castles? Yeah, they have a city and a castle, which is quite nice actually down in the Azurai lands everything is pretty much the same the Azurai have taken away this and there has also been a brand new faction that has risen up right here in uh yeah in the southern empire which is kind of cool the Kuzites themselves have taken land across the, the the river and was also pushed up here against the uh, against the sturgeons however they have also lost a few settlements as well the empire itself looks pretty much intact beside the rebellions however the sturgeons have somehow been able to come down here and take one of the jewels of the northern empire again pretty interesting and then finally valandia have make, made some inroads into britannia but besides that they've lost more in the south so honestly not that bad 250 years have passed and the uh, the campaign has changed quite dramatically there's different starting powers new lords new new faction strengths and i think this does provide a pretty good start so now let's simulate i don't know let's do 750 and then let's do a thousand years okay my bad i thought the actual year went up to a thousand i swear it did a thousand before but i guess not so it does actually only go up to 500 years which is fine maybe it's because of this maybe if i take all of them off it lets me all right so it's only a 500 okay okay that's fair enough that's fair enough so let's turn all of this on we'll go and simulate 500 years and i will also just let this run as well to show you how fast it is um and like how it doesn't actually tank the system much because you think 500 years is a long time but as you can see like i'm just gonna go ahead and skip through this and and show you guys that it actually isn't like a big burden on your pc or anything as it's simulating the years and the, the changes in territory i actually don't understand how it's this fast but yeah it's pretty cool that it's been able to generate this so again if we just load it up and then boom we're in the campaign and this is what the campaign looks like after um yeah all that time and to be fair not much difference which is kind of crazy right an extra 250 years have passed in the campaign and not much has really changed from the, the other one. Again, it's different simulation as well. And as you can see, most of the territory is uh, is the same. The Sturgeons have maybe pushed down there a little bit. We don't have the new kingdoms, so the new kingdoms would have risen and fallen, I guess, and not been able to take too much control. 
And yeah, I mean, it's not really that different, you know? Like, yeah, literally, it's very, very similar. Let's simulate this one more time, because I'm interested to see if it's different every time, or if generally it's just the same things kind of work out. Yeah, I mean, this is another 500 years that I've randomly put in, and again, it's, it's pretty much the same, so... Uh, yeah, there's a few more rebellions. There's like a rebellion here, which is kind of interesting. And there's a rebellion here uh, that has formed a decent kingdom. But again, it's so interesting how tail, uh, how you know, tail worlds have literally railroaded the campaign uh, so much with the balancing. I, I personally much prefer the older system where the Kuzites or someone would go ahead and rise up a massive empire and it'd be like a, a fun late game decision. I hate how stalemate-y Bannerlord is now where not one kingdom rises up above and destroys everything. I'd love to see a uh, block and we're going to go and test it. I'm just going to type in like a random year, see if like things change at all. Um, but yeah, one thing I would love to see block do is add like a total war option for these simulated years so that when you click it, Every faction is just a war with every faction from the get-go, um, and they can't make peace until the simulation is done. Uh, and that way, I think we'd, we'd, we'd really see some, like, really funky borders, and it'd be pretty interesting to see how things turn out. I think the AI is just way too passive, and Tail Worlds don't let them uh, declare war on multiple people. So, yeah, I'd love to see them just, lit like, block literally just make it so that everybody, everybody goes to war. Yeah, again, um, and more, the rebellions are really fun, but you can see just, like, the Sturgeons take these castles again, and uh yeah you know britannia takes these castles i think the most enjoyable part of it is with the rebellions more so with anything else having them new kingdoms from the get-go i think is yeah always going to be really really fun to mess around with another thing i was curious about actually is if we change up the aggression so allow borders change it we don't actually make it too like too crazy so we maybe simulate i don't know let's do 500 years again and we just put the aggression at like i don't know like at 25 does that affect the campaign much? Uh, also, of course, allow new family members so everybody doesn't die. Yeah, how much does this affect it? Okay, so it definitely does affect the campaign a bit uh, and changes it up. So I think that's going to be your key is tweaking the actual aggression of the AI because as you can see, Amar has been taken over here. Uh, over on the east, we have uh, a brand new faction risen up. Yeah, no, sorry, right here, we have a new faction risen up right here, uh, which is a different one, which is pretty really interesting. Uh, and we also have obviously this being taken the capital being taken by the, the western empire so that's going to be your key i think when adjusting it and just finding a nice little right balance of course this mod is still very much in its early stages i'm hoping block will add in more uh, more features to it just kind of ramping up the randomness it'd also be amazing if we got some compatibility with stuff like realm of thrones like imagine realm of thrones with this simulator and we get to like simulate a hundred years in Westeros and all the kingdoms are different. That'd be really, really fun. And I'd love to see that uh, being implemented. Even with just stuff like Banner Kings and stuff like that uh, would be kind of cool to see how that works. But yeah, just a short video today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I wanted to show this one off because it's a really, really cool concept. You can get this mod by joining Block's Patreon. I'll leave a link to that down below in the description. However, once it's all been tested and improvements have been made, it will be released over on Nexus Mod. So keep an eye out open for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.